welcome to our online cybersecurity conference. Uh, we are ready for our keynote address from Special Agent Sonny Natani from the United States Secret Service. One of the things I do is I supervise the cybersecurity squad in the Secret Service uh, in the Philadelphia field office. And uh, one of the things that we have seen, uh, the trend that we've seen is we've seen an explosion and obviously cyber threats, but a lot of these threats are directed at uh, universities and schools. Paul will be talking to us today about the language of cyber risk. So the first slide here is risk visualization, uh, the visual teacher here. So, and the, really what it's about is what are the chances that something is going to happen? That's what risk is. It's the overlapping area of a vulnerability that exists, an asset that you're trying to protect, and then a threat actor. Okay, what is the actual threat again? So you need those three things to really have what the risk is. Isaac, and what you'll talk about today. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about, on the preventative side, attack surface management. That's something that um, I've gotten really into in the last few months. Paul, take it away. All right. Thank you, Carl. <clears throat> but now as we change gears, let's talk about the... Uh, the topic of managed service providers. So uh, Carl had mentioned to me how the, a lot of universities are moving to, uh, to MSPs. Our next speaker is Suzanne Elhor. Take it away, please. Okay. Yeah, thank you. This is why I chose to talk about uh, the digital identity uh, as a um, center of security. Okay, and uh, we'll go through the uh, evolution of identity access management. Uh, we'll talk about the solution. We'll talk about the IAM as an approach, as a picture, as a roadmap. And then we will uh, talk a bit about the implementation, which is the most challenging part, the implementation, the enterprise implementation. Okay. Next speaker, Rob Rudloff. So today I was going to approach this uh, from two perspectives and kind of um, play them off of each other. One is cybersecurity, and then and the then, uh, second phase we'll get to will be um, cyber compliance. Next presenter, Dieter Scholler. My, my hope in this presentation is that I can convince you that uh, IAM is not only foundational for security, but it is foundational for all of the things that you want to do going forward when it comes to running the business of your uh, higher ed institution. Uh, Brian, I'd like to hand it over to you. But this is one strategy that I'll be talking about uh, during my presentation is we have to rely on more than our internal teams to stay ahead of this. We have to rely on these consortiums, these organizations, memberships, collaborative um, partnerships, um, whatever we can do to keep our environment safe and secure, we have to do it. Rochelle Newton. My point in this presentation is to talk to you about bias in cybersecurity, but it applies in all of these things. Um, uh, Leah, I'm going to hand it over to you. Truly the intention um, in, in my mind for this afternoon in, in 20 minutes or less is to try and find pathways to open doors for more folks to get into the security space, to, to take on, if you will, an information security leadership spot in a university, in a college, in an education setting, to really build teams, build strong teams, um, help protect that university. Thank you so much for being here and participating for this final panel discussion. And thank you for all the attendees uh, that have joined us today and stuck with us for our conference slash symposium.